what's up my ninjas I'm back with another figure review and this time it is the ultra act grid man and I'm gonna say off the bat my expectations kinda of were high for this figure and I was disappointed twice first time I opened the package uh, his hand was broken his right or left hand I'm sorry um, and that's what I took these pictures for I figured I'll, pl I'll let it play into you know some dramatic poses and whatnot then I had that return back to Amazon I got another one and then while I was swapping out the hands both hands one after another popped right off both pegs for both hands popped right off I was really disappointed it seems that they cheapened up on the pegs for his hands for some odd reason and they didn't make the hands themselves out of as soft uh, a rubber or plastic as they usually do and that's a real bummer because I was really geeked about this figure so this is just a little uh, prologue so I can get that out the way and then review you know the rest of the figure on its merits and or you know shortcomings appropriately so here goes the rest of the review What's up, my ninjas? So, uh, this here is the Ultra Act Servo. Um, strangely enough, it's a figure I was kind of waiting for because I grew up watching all kinds of tokusatsu, Ultraman included, and I dug the idea of Servo, so I, or Gridman. Um, I watched Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad when I was a kid, so I dug the idea of the character Servo and not so much you know, Matthew, Matthew Lawrence's servo. Um, like I said earlier, they cheapened up with the pegs that you put the uh, uh, hands on because, you know, this is the 10th or 11th uh, SH Figuarts-ish figure that I bought. And uh, it's like the umpteenth billionth figure I have that you can switch the hands. And I've never had issues with them. I'm talking shit from Japan. I'm talking shit from Taiwan. I'm talking about all kinds of stuff. So it's kind of disappointing. But um, as you can see, I have a history with Servo. This is actually the uh, US Servo release that came out in the 90s. He came in a miniature version of uh, Xenon and the other you know, vehicles so that you could uh, turn Xenon into the armor to turn your servo into uh, synchro um, I can't remember what he was called in Gridman I've only watched like one or two episodes of that show and it's not really any better than you know superhuman samurai but you can see there's differences in the paint and it's it's just a much cheaper done figure very sturdy though um, behind him you can see the vehicles that form up xenon which I thought was kind of strange that <clears throat> when you see the, the bigger servo in the background, that uh, that's not the size that the Ultra Act figures are. I mean, Ultramen are bigger than regular superheroes. I mean, they're giants. And then these figures are six inches or seven inches tall. I mean, I know in Gridman's case, he's a smaller character, but I expect them to be bigger. But um, 
the paint, superb. Most of his articulation, pretty good, except he doesn't have a waist swivel at all, um, which is really weird because you can clearly see that it's two and, or three parts, you know what I mean? So why did they cut out the waist swivel? I don't understand. Um, he comes with uh, his little sword, which is nice. I, uh, I dig the chrome finish to it. Um, as you can see here are the others. You can see it's, it's kind of a treat for me because I was used to those for all these years. And now I'm finally getting you know, a sword that looks like the sword and actually is painted like the sword from the movie, the TV show, you know? So that's a treat for me. I get to geek out and be like, finally, a screen accurate version of a really cool character. Um, I still wish that he was <laughs> a taller figure. I can't get over that. Someone told me that the other Ultra Act Ultraman are a lot taller than him. I don't know. I, there is an Ultraman I'm looking at, so... I'll let you guys know when I find out. But uh, here is the uh, axe-sword combo. I forgot what they called it. It's been a while. But uh, that's what I grew up with as far as quality goes. And they didn't include that mode in, you know, with this servo release but, uh, or Gridman release. But they did re uh, include the Gridman sword mode or the... Uh, I forgot what they called it in Superhuman Samurai, but anyway, this is the Gridman sword where it's the shield and the sword combined, which is, you know, it's not bad. Um, here's the shield. The shield looks pretty cool, the Gridman shield. Um, it's pretty, uh, I don't know, chromey and shiny and the paint apps are really clean. I mean, it's what you would expect from SH Figure Arts and, or Bandai at this point. You can see the glue there on his Samurizer <laughs> or whatever it's called in, in that show. I, I didn't bother to do much research on those parts because like I said, I know him as Servo and that's why I got him. Um, you can see the difference in quality from the US Bandai releases and this Japanese Bandai release, which is really strange that there's such a big difference and so many key pieces are missing. You know, as far as paint goes and as far as like the, the, the little details to make it show accurate. So I am geeked out about the fact that he is that screen accurate as opposed to this generic shit that I had growing up. Um, even on the big one, you think that being in it is so much bigger and it's a separate piece that you actually have to insert and have it lock on to his uh, wrist. Still no paint apps. So, like I said, it's nice to see the Japanese version have things that the others don't. Here's the effects piece. It's a grid beam. Um, he actually uh, looks like it's just firing out of his wrist, but there's a little peg that you can remove the diode crystal on his uh, Samurizer and put that in place of the crystal and it holds up pretty well and his joints are pretty stiff and tight so you can pose him in a way that makes him look like he's firing this beam without worrying about his arm dropping or something like that so that's a treat you know it's pretty nice to to have that happen you know um and his arms kind of move in a way that allows for him to pretty much you know position you can position his arms almost however you want um, they don't go in that much closer but you can kind of pull them you can pull the arms right out of the sockets so you can kind of pull them out a little bit more to give him the you know arms being closer um, he comes with all these uh, hands the effects piece two versions of the sword just a standard sword and the gridman sword his shield and then of course you get the figure so I mean it is a decent amount of bang for your buck um, in short if you grew up watching Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad here in the U.S., you might want this figure. If you grew up watching Gridman, you might want this figure. If you're just a fan of Ultraman in general or Ultraman-themed tokusatsu, you might want this figure. Now, if you're a fan of action figures, the fact that these pegs are so uh, scary to work with, you might not want this figure. And uh, that's my biggest caution to you. Uh, it's just not worth it to have the arms break and there's going to be a lot of part swapping involved with him and future releases. So um, I would be aware of that first before I, go, I look into buying this figure. Now if anything that I just said 
just flies right over your radar and you know you just it doesn't matter then you know this is a worthy figure for you i don't know i was kind of iffy based on all the the the, the main issues surrounding his hands and the pegs that um i almost was about to swear off the whole ultra act line but i'm going to give it one more chance if I do happen to buy another one, and maybe you guys can tell me, those of you who have already taken the plunge, you can tell me how well they stand up. But uh, if I do buy another one, and I'm looking at like Zero, hopefully Ginga when he comes out, and uh, uh, maybe, you know, the original Ultraman. But if, if, if this happens again, I'm done with this line. So uh, this is my uh, Gridman review. I'm Strident. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And peace outside.